Praying for Time is his masterpiece. It's a real anthem against poverty and injustice. There comes a point where you have to write something which you have not written before and which your interest, um, your interest in any particular topic or, or subject will inspire you. And that's why I suppose eventually most lyricists do, do uh, um, approach wider topics than, than sex and love. You can listen to Praying for Time and it com it's completely consistent with this kind of character who is trying to be worthy of his fame and what's happened to him. What is my fame good for? Has it made things better for me? He understands that, that really good art gets reinvented in the heart and the soul of the person experiencing it. Every, every person experiences it slightly different and that's quite important to preserve. The best pop songs are like Rorschach tests, like the inkblot tests that psychologists give to patients where they see in those shapes whatever is going on for them. And in a way, pop stars are like Rorschach tests too. People project onto them the person they want to see and when they become devoted to a, a particular artist, it's because they perceive in that artist something that they're missing in their own lives. I don't believe that I am important as a pop star. I don't think that there are many people that are important as pop stars in the sense that they used to be. I don't believe that I will leave a, a great mark as a, uh, as a, an entity, you know. I want to leave something as a writer.